Hi guys and welcome back to Beauty Within. If you're here following from our skincare video on the Sephora sale, this is gonna be all our favorite picks on makeup, which is honestly an extension of our skin because to me makeup really is how you show yourself to the world and you know, it's really fun. It's Art. So just a quick reminder, everyone during this Sephora holiday saving event will get some sort of discount whether you're an insider, a VIB or a rouge. So let's just jump straight into the picks that we've been loving all year or maybe all month, whatever it is. Go ahead girl. <laughs> Okay, so this is very exciting because for the first time in my life and on the existence of Beauty Within, I'm actually more excited to talk about makeup than I am skincare. Huh. <laughs> Welcome to makeup. So the first thing I want to share with you guys about it's what is making me the most excited is actually a lipstick. It is YSL's new, I think this is like the bold lipstick that is so Bold. like the whole color range. It's like, imagine like bright reds, like crimson, beautiful, deep colors. It's like fuchsia. Yeah, it's like very, very bold. So I was like, okay, of all the colors, the one I'm most comfortable with is actually this like beautiful dusty rose color that I have on my lip right now. So the application is beautiful. It's super luscious and it's super luxurious feeling. It has like a beautiful sheen, not fully a gloss, but it just has this beautiful, bold, pigmented color that I just, I love. This makes makeup so fun. What makes it even more fun is I love putting this shade on my cheeks. And today I got a little fancy and I was like, why don't I put it on my eyelids too? So this is like a three-parter and I just feel like it really gives you a put together look with very minimal effort. I feel like YSL has one of the most pigmented lip products and I remember there's a distinct scent of YSL specific lip products. Oh yes. Whether it's like their, yes. their matte balms yes. or their lip balms or tinted, they all have this really sweet signature scent which is like part of the experience. This one smells very like subtly floral. If I remember correctly, this is $39, so it is a bit on the more expensive end. Switching to my lip product, I have loved Rare Beauty, which is Selena Gomez's brand for a really long time. I'm gonna mention something from her again, just to reiterate. This is the Souffle Matte Lip Cream, and I got it in the shade Brave. So what this was essentially born from was I wanted like a terracotta, kind of coral, something for fall, is a little bit more muted, and dusty and not too vibrant and so I'm wearing it today and it's not really like a pink my lip up better but it's more of a coral my lip up better oh. and so you know how you really love glossy you yes. really suit that like wet texture for me I just find maybe it's like my skin type it's already so oily and shiny I always just gravitated more towards these luscious souffle matte textures and this is exactly it so they come in about like 10 different shades and between this one it's called brave and another one which is more of that like pinky purple like fun color mm -hmm. actually quite similar to what you're wearing those were like my two picks and I just love it because it just looks and feels weightless, like nothing's on your skin, hair isn't going to stick to it. To each one's own their texture, I think each person will have like their way of applying it, but if you wanted to make it a gloss version, you could put a gloss over it, and it's really lightweight and feels like it's barely there. How does this souffle matte lip compared to the NARS because I remember you mentioned the NARS last time. So the NARS has that soft matte lip cream. When you talk about the texture, it's like they're both really airy, but I would actually say this is more airy than the NARS matte, which is actually more creamy when you apply it and then it settles into a more matte. Okay, I have two more lip products. So the first group of products, and I say group, not because it's, okay, I'm just gonna show you guys. These are all the Tower 28 Shine On lip glosses that I have because they're just so amazing. I've talked about these before, so I won't go too much into it, but if you 
grew up in like the 90s, you know lip gloss is like a big, big thing. And I grew up honestly hating lip gloss because hair will get stuck in it, things will get stuck in it, it just feels like a sticky mess. So never liked it until I met her. And specifically this color, I really love this spicy shade. It looks very red, it doesn't apply as red. And I just love how moisturizing and hydrating this lip gloss is and how long lasting it actually is. And also how pigmented it is. Of course, it's not gonna be as pigmented as the lipstick, like the YSL, but it's still pigmented enough that will last you throughout the day. And it's just this beautiful sheen and beautiful gloss. So that is, Tara 28. Have you tried this? I have. I really like the texture. Like, you know, as you were saying, that sticky mess of like 90s lip glosses. I feel like we've come so far from that. So it's honestly been a long time since I've even tried a gloss that sticky. <laughs> oh no, lies. There is one, but I'm not going to mention it because we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> the last lip product I'll talk about is the Merit. This is their Tinted Lip Oils. This is in the color Cara Cara. Very much like you of how you wanted to find something in a terracotta shade. I feel like this is in between that and a maybe like a coral or more of like a brick. Because it is a lip oil, I think it's the most nourishing out of all the lip products that I've mentioned. And the color is just beautiful. And you can layer this on one layer, it's like a my lips but better. Two layers is like a bit bolder, a bit more bright, and then three layers of course is just like BAM! Is it that pigmented when you build it? To me, I think it is because one shade really, like it's still, you can still see it, but as you kind of blend it, it just like blends into the color of your skin. You know, I'm like actually so jealous that your lips are like kind of pink because the struggle for me is that I have naturally darker lips. And so it takes actually a lot of layers in order for those slightly tinted ones to actually show up as anything. And so by the time I have like pigment or color on the lip, it's like there's so many layers and I'm like, <laughs> oh no. So I wanna move on to some of the face products because it's honestly like the only thing that I get really excited for. You know when you find a tinted moisturizer or a CC cream or like even a foundation that just is second skin, you're just like, <laughs> okay, so I have a few as part of this sale and I'll start with this one actually. Nude Sticks is a brand that I tried ages and ages ago more for their lip crayons and it was really buttery, really smooth, but I've never really thought of them as like a skincare or like a foundation product to explore. So the reason why I actually picked this up is it was completely unexpected. I was going there to return the Westman Adelia Dew Drops that I also really love. And instead, she actually recommended me this for like a very satin natural finish. And when I put oh. it on, I was like, add to bag immediately. So I'm in the shade Nude 5, and I can only explain the texture as like more of a moisturizer. First of all, it's called the Tinted Cover Foundation. It's not too glowy, it's not dry and clings onto your flaky skin. It literally sits there like second skin, and it covers just enough where I was like, oh my God, it was almost blurring. Like, you know, oh. it's like not moussey, it's Powder? more like moisturizy than moussey, huh? Is it like when you put powder on? No, and the thing is I'm wearing it now and I didn't even powder. And like for me, the winter, I don't want to powder. I just want to put something on and then like be done. And I would say a medium coverage because when I put it on, it just glazed over all my kind of unevenness and redness and also hyperpigmentation, but you could still see a little bit peek through. So I'd actually be really interested in seeing like if your dry skin likes it. I know for sure combination skin will love it, oily skin will love it, and if you need to set it down, I would set it down just in the T-zone. So I don't know, like formulation wise, I think this is such a beautiful product that literally caught me off guard. Little pro tip, if you ever go to any store, like I know for you, you struggle so hard trying to find your shade, <laughs> like color match it to your neck because my hands are darker than my face. And so if I color match it to my hand as I'm testing it, it's just gonna be like way too dark. So always like just put a little bit right next to your neck. So moving on from that, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more high coverage and is a CC cream, this is the IT Cosmetics Full Coverage Cream. It's got a hydrating serum formulated in it, which is the 
CC pot and then it's also got SPF 50 but the surprising thing is that it doesn't give any sort of like flashback if you take photos in it it's not gray and white and ashy like sometimes these face products that are formulated with sunscreen can be it's just like full-on like it covers everything it is so amazing i still can't believe that this is like a cz cream because the coverage is more like a foundation but in saying that it's only for people who really want that coverage because it's like a little goes so long you know that's why i have this little one because i don't even know how long it will take to finish the big tube then my next one is the amore pacific cushion so this was the wrong color for rose so she gave it to me <laughs> it's the color control cushion compact in 204 light medium yellow so i do have obviously a yellow undertone i mean there are so many cushion foundations i totally understand when people are like which one do I even buy? And honestly, they're all a little bit different. I have like five different <laughs> on rotation. And so this one I use and why I fell in love with it is because it's just that every day on the go, if you just want your skin to look healthy, but it's not going to cover everything, but just give you like that fresh glow, then this really worked wonders for my skin and it made me look healthy and I think at the end of the day that's what like a cushion compact at the bare minimum is supposed to do there's ones that are like really high coverage there's ones that are like little to no coverage it's almost like more of a skincare like Amuse has one that's really good but that's very like jelly skin and that borders when my hair sticks to my face <laughs> and so this one is just like a light glow you look healthy and it just evens everything out but it doesn't cover everything if you're looking to use this and you still want to cover your hyperpigmentation or your active pimples you always want to pair it with some sort of concealer that's the same shade as your foundation i don't know how much this is how much is it's it? 75. oh okay but guys so the formulation for... it's so beautiful because i tried it on yeah, my skin really before nice. giving it to fell so for 75 dollars, it is pretty steep for a cc cushion but i just think if you enjoy the finish like this is the time to buy it a little hack if you end up buying any shade for CC creams that are either lighter or darker, you can actually just add your own like foundation drops in there to like use, you know what wow. I mean? Like, because it's essentially just a, like a sponge that's soaked in the foundation or the CC oh. cream. There was a time when I got a compact that was way too light and then I mixed in some of the Dior Backstage darker foundation into it and just like pumped it to mix it all in there, flipped over the cushion and it was like good to go. So that's like a little hack. Hacks on hacks. All right, this is a very full circle moment because I got foundation for the first time in my life, guys. And this is something that you're very familiar with. You'll probably be surprised that I got it. I don't know, I yeah. just, I don't, everyone uses it. Our friends swear by it. I'm like, it's fine, I'll just try it. This is the- The buildup is killing me, what is the it? The Armani Beauty Luminous Skin Perfect Glow Flawless mm. Foundation. So I got it OG. in two like more travel size baby shades because I'm in between colors. I'm 3.5 and 4. And I honestly have not tried enough foundations to compare this to anything, but I feel like this gives you enough coverage that's buildable. And I think a little does go a long way. And I still personally like that you can, you know, like you can still show my freckles, you can still see my skin. And I feel like this does that and also does not cling onto my flakes. Even though sometimes I do wish this was a bit more hydrating. The Sephora sales, very, very kind lady recommended this makeup setting spray from Makeup Forever. This is the Mist and Fix. So I think like this with this is just a beautiful combination. I believe this is the only setting spray that's hydrating, not just like setting. Cause remember I like love the Urban Decay, like the all night black yeah. and purple one that's Smells a bit funky, but like Reggie. does an amazing job. I feel like that one isn't as hydrating as this one. So those are my 
<laughs> my very first foundation purchases that I yeah. actually really love. <laughs> I've been on a Merit train. I love their, I think this is called like the Minimalist Concealer. It might be like a oh, multi. Oh, this is the Concealer Foundation? Yes, perfect complex Oh my god. Stick. So this, for my skin, if my skin is dry and if my eyes are decreasing, then it's gonna crease, right? So I think like what I'm trying to work on now is how do I get my skin hydrated and plump before applying something like this? But this is beautiful. The shade is amazing. I love how creamy it is and then how like easily movable yeah. it is. I think this is perfect for you guys who actually have no idea like what the difference is between a concealer and a foundation and you just want something that does it all. So for example, like these sticks, as you said, can be so easily drying. Like I love the hourglass one. It's like high coverage or medium to high coverage, but you just want something that moves. Sometimes these sticks dry out and it's like, like cake and then it catches onto your skin and it can't blend. <laughs> That yeah, sound but fun. this one so good. It like moves around. You can you actually have time to like spread it a little bit. It's nowhere near yeah. as spreadable as you know like your actual foundations, which are liquid. But I just found like even on the go, if you have something that you want to just like patch up, highlight yes. whatever it is, it's like great. And I love using this on days I'm not wearing makeup. But if I'm just like, ugh, I feel like there's a pimple or there's a hyperpigmentation or there's something. It's just very easy to like bloop, especially if it's just yeah. on top of skincare. So speaking of concealer, I do have one concealer. So we also went to the Too Faced event and this is the Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer. So a really like stay put concealer is the Tarte one. And this is not in comparison to that because I find this one is a really nice creamy formula for highlighting under the eye to give you that more awake look, a little bit on the forehead, you know, tops of the nose if you just want to bring out and highlight those features. And this was just really nice and lightweight and creamy, I feel like. I still had to set it down under the eye because no matter what concealer you use, if you don't set it with a little powder, well, first of all, you need a really good eye cream so that it doesn't crease everywhere and look really bad and then you put on the concealer but that will still crease up because you know every day we're like making facial expressions so powder really helps with just setting that down when we went there I was like I want a shade lighter than my overall skin tone because I want to create dimension but I also recommend if you guys are not into putting on a foundation just get a concealer that's the same color as your skin tone and use that just over areas you need I haven't bought a concealer for a really long time the last one was the rare beauty one which is okay, like I wouldn't say it's a standout. There's like a gymungous doe foot, which is great if you highlight a lot, like it's so <laughs> huge. They're actually quite similar. This one's probably a little bit more pigmented. This is actually easier to work with in my opinion. As Phil just mentioned, Rare Beauty, I've been loving the melting blush. I remember you <gasps> I talked about it. this first during one of our Sephora sales and I was like, I need to try it because this texture is unlike anything I've ever tried or experienced before. It's this like very creamy, velvety. I got it in nearly neutral. The moment it touches your skin, it turns into like more of like a powdery matte finish that when Fel first told me about it, I was like, well, what do you mean? But then as soon as I touched it for myself, I was like, whoa. It's like, what is this beautiful. sorcery going on? So like, it actually makes it so easy for people who aren't confident with blush. And I feel like that's the best part about, you know, easy makeup is that it should be easy for everyone to kind of experiment and find out. Remember, I, I got this one and her, the other one is like the liquid, like if if you guys love blush and you want it like really popping off that is by far the most tinted blush you will ever use like don't go in and be like dit, 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 dit. like just a half a dot half a dot and it will spread everywhere um so i definitely think this one is like way easier for people who are maybe just beginning and for more of that natural look okay well speaking of cheek I actually have one more. If you guys are into, once again, a really easy bronzer. So what bronzer does is it just gives life to your face. So this one is from Fenty Beauty and it's my favorite. It's her Sunstalker 
one in the shade Inda Sun. And once again, why I love this is because it's really easy for anyone to use. It's like pigmented enough, it looks really natural, but if you go ham, it, you still won't look crazy, you know? So you can like layer it on really gently and just build it up to however much. And what you wanna do is just kind of go around the face, like the perimeter of the face, and then just take it a little bit down on the cheeks. I put my bronzer on before the blush because the blush is kind of like, you know, you wanna see where it sits. The bronzer, yeah, defines. So if you run a line from the end of your mouth, to the top of your ear that's basically where your bronzer should go in like this area another baby that was influenced by fell is the sephora retractable brow pencil so beautiful got it in chocolate brown so this love how it is like truly retractable brow pencil it's very thin i think it's like the perfect shape i also really like the kosas brow that i think i had talked about before but i just think this is so compact so easy to use i believe it is also more affordable and because it's a floral collection it's 30 percent off not Whoa. 10 15 20 30 too. And I remember when you were talking about this, you also said this is as good as like the brow is. Yeah. That really holds one. It's like yeah. the same. So funnily enough, my brow rec is also the same Sephora one because I love it so much. It yeah, just got I just thicker. got the brow shape of pencil and essentially the only difference is one has a slanted thicker tip and then Rose one that she showed is a tiny little circular one. Circular. Yeah. So just depending, some people say these ones are easier to use because it's faster to kind of cover more surface area, but I actually find that one that you have is more easier to use. And then if you already are blessed with great brows, I would also highly recommend you get the Sephora Brow Volumizing Fiber Mascara because like, let's say you don't even need to fill it in. Good for you guys. <laughs> don't know what that's like, but this one you can just stroke over all your brow hairs just for a little bit of definition and it volumizes because it has those microfibers. Yeah, so they go hand in hand. Okay, the very last thing I'm gonna talk about, another favorite of mine. I've been talking about this for the past like three, four years and I might get a lot of judgment, but it's the same one. <laughs> like I haven't updated it. The top one completely <gasps> like shattered. Wait, is this the Kaja? So it's gone. Wait, oh my God. Yeah, it's the Kaja. Yeah, keep um, this is their orange blossom. I don't know what it's, it's like their bento. It's so cute. The second layer is on its last dying breath. At any moment, it's gonna fall out. I don't know if you guys can see from like the side, but this middle shade, this more like corally pink color is what I have on the top of my lid. So I put the YSL, I just put some on my like ring finger and I just ran it through the middle of my eyelid. So this is at the bottom and then this shade. Wee! This one, I just like put it on top. This gives you the look of glitter, cause it is very glittery, without being annoying like glitter. I hate glitter, cause it gets everywhere. But this just has like the most beautiful sheen. So this is beautiful. And then the last color is the most neglected color that I don't think I've ever really used. Yeah, the brown is just shattered. Like I don't think I ever. You know really what used you can that. do it's with like the brown, brown is to use it as a liner, mm -hmm. like a really soft mm -hmm. liner, just to. But elongate. it's so shimmery. Oh, is it? I'll actually try using it though, because I'm actually very curious. I, I don't think I've ever actually used it before, but I just want to see what the color is and maybe it'll make me less intimidated and then I'll just use okay. it. Okay. Um, so wow. we're like basically merging into each other because, well, I didn't get it, but they sent, and I was like, oh my God, they have a cheek version of your eye thing. And then look at this blush. Did you try that blush? I have, it's the heart oh stamp. Oh my God. It's not the most practical, yeah. but it's adorable and it sparks joy. Oh my so God. who cares? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That is like too cute because you know why? Like they're the same company as a brand called I Do Care. And it's like an affordable, really fun Korean brand. And that's the skincare. And then this is like the makeup part of the company. Ding! Wait, I just realized I forgot to mention one last product. Okay.
It is Tower 28 mascara. It is the best mascara I've ever used in my entire life. My favorite type of mascara look is that it coats every single eyelash individually and perfectly. It doesn't clump, it doesn't glue onto each other, it doesn't like like do any weird things or like kind of transfer over to the bottom of your eyelids after using it. This is seriously the best mascara I've ever used. And I think right now it's fully coated so you can't see the shape of the wand, but it's actually hollow in the middle. And if you like press on this, which I'm not gonna do, you can see that it flares open. If I remember correctly, Amy, the founder of Tower 28, went through like hundreds or like 200 something revisions or prototypes to get it to this shape. And we'll like put up a video for you guys to see. Because my eyelashes are very straight and stubborn, this alone won't get it to fly up. But I think if your eyelashes are naturally curly, you just want something to accentuate it, this will be beautiful for me. I still need to use the Etude House primer, like the Dr. Fixer eyelash primer and then use this. But then this seriously like, no matter how clumpy or how messy I get with the primer, this just like glides through all of it, which is just unreal. Amazing. So that is our makeup for Sephora sales. <laughs> If there's one thing to take away, even if you don't get anything, is just to like remember to have fun with it. Whatever you're doing, whether it's makeup, skincare, like it's not the end of the world. We're all learning, finding new things, but we hope that our approach to makeup, which is just an extension of skincare, making yourself feel confident in ways that you can find within products. Have, yeah, I think the most important thing, as Phil mentioned, is just to have fun with it and to lean into your seasons, right? If you don't want to do makeup, then don't do makeup. But when you're excited about makeup, allow yourself to follow your excitement because it will take you to beautiful places. Yes, and you know, like, when I put, it's a little thing, as simple as putting on mascara for the day and doing my, just my eyebrows and mascara, I instantly just like feel more productive. I know it's really stupid, like when you say it, but it it's not. changes everything. It's the same as getting out of your pajamas. It's like game changer. Anyways, so yes, let us know if you have any favorites and what you decide to get, what you're interested in, all below. Quick reminder, we have e-magazine, we have started a podcast, so find us on Spotify, it's called <laughs> It's Within. Um, we have one episode so far, but anyway, more to come. And that's about it. More drops in the Beauty Within shop. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy shopping. Bye! Bye!